Is now the right time or the wrong time to buy new golf clubs? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about when's the right time and when's the wrong time to treat yourself to new golf clubs. When's the right time for you to buy new golf clubs? When I eventually learn to play golf. We're gonna get onto that. We'll have a bit of a match, mate. First few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club. I'm gonna talk the pros and cons of buying a new golf club. When's the right time, when's the wrong time? And guys, if you're enjoying this, smash that subscribe button below. I'll let you have the honor, mate, if you want. Thank you. However. Are you not, not wanting to burn the back of your neck with your hair cut? Is that why the... Listen, it's nice and, nice and fresh. Everything's fresh today. Oh, Cleaned, clean, clean the trousers. Clubs. Yep. Fresh ba pants, everything. Yep, even had a shower before I come. Oh, wonderful. Nice. Mm. Yeah, it should be all right, mate. It was well struck. Nice. Oh, I didn't break my tee either. I'm pleased with that. So, two pretty good opening tee shots there. And guys, one of the big things for me is when not to buy new golf clubs is when you're either not playing at all or not playing very well. Let me explain. See, you guys, on this channel, I'm a big advocate for getting fitted for your golf clubs. And if you're not playing a lot, and it's quite difficult to get a consistent fit in. We're going down and getting fitted in a few weeks, are we? Yes, we are. So this is why we're out here today. You, you're making a point of coming out, aren't you? I'm making a point just of coming to... out and playing. I've been going at range a lot, just because I'm, I'm just being strapped for time. Yeah. Just with work, work's been absolutely manic, but I've been making a point of getting to range, and I've made a point of today coming out while it's been all right just try and get a few holes and we'll try again before a couple, couple of times before we go yeah and then a couple of um, extra range sessions as well because it's important that when you do get these new golf clubs they are right for you moving forward so that's when kind of not to get them but also there's a few little tips I'm going to give you for when to get them stay tuned well I can't believe we've not found that I, no, thought, I thought that was I th soaring over here it must have clipped something I thought it carried I'll in let it. you chuck one down mate as a penalty drop just didn't there. There. Glorious shot. That's wonderful. Yep. That'll do. Lovely shot, mate, that. So another time on when to definitely get new golf clubs. If we have a look at your clubs here, now there's nothing wrong with these. They'll I mean that that's dirt because you've just used it. But they're very, very good clubs. You've just kind of outgrown them a bit. So you'll see there that's a 5.0110 gram. So for me, who kind of coaches Foxy a little bit, I look at that and I think sometimes you could do with something just a little bit stiffer just so that you can get a more consistent release pattern going because if you're concentrating on letting the club fall, yeah. the shaft might not be stiff enough. He got them as a, as a proper beginner and now he's kind of, the hand-eye coordination is catching up if you know what I mean. So always worth bearing that in mind. That's a fair way to hit for me. Glorious. I'll take it. You get one here, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Bunker. Back to your old favourite bunker. Every time, isn't it? Every, every time. <laughs> I haven't played with you for about four weeks. I must say you're in there as well. I don't think I've been in it since we've played. <laughs> so the other thing is to think about which golf clubs to prioritise when you are going to get new golf clubs because golf clubs aren't cheap. So if you're thinking, right, I'm going to go and buy a whole new bag of fresh golf clubs for the 2022 season for the summer. It's going to cost a lot, that, isn't it? It is, and to be fair, if you if you've perfected or need to advance on every single one of your clubs, uh, you're either really, really, really good or you really don't this need is, to be doing Yeah, and this is the thing. Do you buy a golf club that you feel like is holding you back or do you buy a golf club that is your weakness and that might make you go and practice more? Only, only you guys can really answer that. I, I would personally try and find the motivation in a different way to go and work on your weaknesses because spending money on it wouldn't make much sense because then you might outgrow the clubs that you've just spent the money on. Yeah. So I'd definitely look at clubs that maybe you feel like are holding you back. And lessons. Lessons for everyone. <laughs> I'm going to build you up now. For instance, we changed the wedges in your bag and it made a huge difference, didn't it? It did. But I still have the old, uh, I'm, the I'm old not, diesel duff and run. I'm not saying that because that's the exact shot you now need to play, but we'll have a look at what we've put in because I can't believe how much of a big difference that made. Again, not trying to big it up too much did make a lot and in the first place as well when uh, when we got the big bertha 
brigade, brigade in that did did seem to help yeah first. these the brigade <laughs> that definitely helped drop the tea we need to spend more time on that see there'd be no point fitting you for a new driver at the minute no no whatsoever i'm still still learning when when they go well they're brilliant yeah for me it's just it's just still honing that technique and getting it down at minute yeah, by the way i still that soon as well yeah. but again it's almost irrelevant we're only testing that for other people really not for you no see how it works because you're that prime audience we'll show what it is it's the draw version of the ltdx fairway wood sorry mate, i will put these back on for you in a second but these are what made a huge difference the high toe wedges and the bigger putter the bigger putter right. the more forgiving putter Ooh, hey, i've well. thrown you a bit of a bone here mate what are you you were two drop three play you're three net two yeah we'll give you the penalty drop for the tee shot are you going uh, i'm not going completely over bunker now i'd be going nowhere near that bunker if i were you mate <laughs> no that's that's Nice. That is absolutely. Oh, it sat down as well. It is wet. Honestly, what? mate, that was such a good effort as well. Bit more. Lovely shot. Thank you. Go. Huh. Bit heavy, darling. Yeah. Right, this is for a five-four. And I've got mine for a four. Go on then. Go on then. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, the boys have kept these in good yeah, considering good weather, aren't they? Very good. Like I must say, my favourite club that I've tested and that's in the bag currently is the putter. Uh, I'm not saying that because I'm trying to hold this one, obviously, but I certainly feel like it's better than, say, a new driver or... Mainly because it's filling me with confidence because I like the look and feel of it, but it doesn't always have to be technology. You're like a little magpie, aren't you? Not really. No? I think if people tested golf clubs like I do, a lot of people would be a lot worse than I am, in fairness. I'm uh, I'm not that bad. I'm not. Those irons are two years old. Fair enough, the driver's new and that's new. The wedges were two years old before I put the new Vokies in, and wedges need freshening up anyway. To be fair, to knowing Gaz and knowing you, you kind of use the same... And, and, Gaz, and Gaz actually pays for him, so... And he pays for him, and he's... Yeah, exactly, so that's another thing. Right, mate, you've got this for the half. Go on. Oh, he's got it as well. That's an awesome path. Well done. Thank right, you. Right, not our best stuff, but we're going to show you some more tips on when to buy new golf clubs as well. Is it time? Is it time for you? Is it time for me? Is it time for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. And there's no bad thing with having... Just a want for new golf clubs. We're thinking, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. I've got a bonus at work. I've I've worked hard for something. So golf's my hobby, and I'm going to go and buy something new. You don't always have to be working towards improving your golf. This sounds ridiculous to buy new golf clubs. You might just be enjoying it that much. It's like you know when you treat yourself to a new car. It's not to go somewhere faster, is it? No, not all the time, but sometimes it is. Delightful. Stay there. Hang on. Yep. Jeez. Lovely shots, sir. I'm going big dogs, it's all I've got. Right, mate, you're in play. You're quite a way back, but that's almost still your favourite club, is it? Yeah, it is. It's my favourite one to get off at tea. So would you look for something better than that, or are you just going to stick with it? No, if I can make improvements on it, definitely. That's nice. That's naughty, isn't it? Yeah. It is my favourite club, but you can... Can we not talk about that drive for a bit longer? No, we can't, <laughs> no. It is my favourite club, but you can also tell it's starting to get a little bit of the old war wounds on Wear it. Wear and tear. Mm. Mm. I'd like something shiny and new, please. Right. There you go. Left the face open a touch. Still all right, though. down that bank please oh. Oh. I think you hit that way too hard right guys we've had a few audio issues on this hole but I believe we are back now I'm in for four after a miraculous bunker shot you're uh, you here for three you get two shots, though, so you're here for net one. Hmm. Not the easiest of shots, but... Um, 
Guys, stay tuned because we're going to talk through when to buy new golf clubs, when not to buy new golf clubs, and the importance of getting the right lessons as well. So we've spoken about it already. I'll try and remember it all and go again. Go. Go. That could be really good now. Nice shot. And that's what I was talking about, about these wedges. I don't think you would have been able to do that with the Mizunos prior. I don't either. Giving it a clean in there. Oh. And I was speaking earlier about how my favourite change so far this year has been the putter. And my second favourite was actually the wedges. So it goes to show that I know the drivers are kind of sexy and things like that. But even just by sticking fresh wedges in the bag, fresh grooves, you generally see a bit more of a performance gain because your grooves have been maybe a little bit overused with your wedges before. So overused and undercleaned. Yeah, that's a very good point, actually. Yeah. It's a bit of a Look at you, you've cleaned your trousers and all of a sudden you're Mrs. Finch. You clean the uh, clubs as well. Is it Finch start. or Hinch? Hinch. Hint Finch off uh, American Pie. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Come off like a cannon, that. You just like practicing these four footers for a half, don't you? Don't help when you hit it out to heel up. If he's going out of heel and it's still gone past, mate, you're really struggling. See, we're out in the middle, that would have been down fairway. Mm. Oh, stinker. I'd just like to preface the importance of lessons, guys, because you see, if you're going to get new golf clubs and you're not necessarily swinging as consistent as you would like, you could be wasting your time and your money. Also, if you're going and practicing a lot but not quite having lessons, you could be wasting your time and your time and even more of your time. But also, if you're going and having lessons but not practicing, that's almost just as bad because you're wasting your time, you're wasting your coach's time, and you're wasting your money. Is that what you're trying to say I'm doing? No, you don't pay me. <laughs> you didn't hit that as good as you did mm. it is broken but i'll take it for the good I'd of the take, cause i'll take it three wood that's an interesting shout why are you, why are you going green all of a sudden you had a, you had, that's not going to go through there is it you know, can't really go through there, is it? you had a perfectly good white golf ball why are you changing to a green one <laughs> it's in better days this uh, golf ball why are you using it then what was wrong with your last one? I'm going to lose it anyway. So you, so you think it's game over after this shot then? Yeah. Might as well drive them really, didn't you? Nope. <laughs> Two shots here, mate, as well. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Where has that been? Just been warming up, hasn't it? And the other point to think about about when to buy new golf clubs is lead times at the minute. They're very, very difficult to get hold of. If you go and try and get custom set for a, a set of maybe ping golf clubs or something and you order them now, you might only just get them for summer. So that's something to bear in mind as well. If you're wanting to play the most amount of times with your new clubs, don't leave it too late. I know that almost goes against what I've been saying, but the worst thing is if they turn up in October, isn't it? Yeah, but why is they taking them so long? It's not like they're got these daft microchips in they can't get older for cars and all the rest of it now, no but it? the manufacturer stopped during covid i think so then they were oh behind. it's got the old backlog and all yeah, the rest of it so um just bear that in mind as well something that i don't really know that much about but i know it's affecting a lot of people peen get get some lads in get some other time banged in double shifts in double shifts. shifts get an art shift banged in <laughs> i'll tell you what mate it might not all be over yet as well because you're there for minus one just next to that fill there i can make a mess of this don't worry <laughs> yeah. well it's gone long that it has. And for a change, I've not gone down woods. Yeah. Nice, mate. That's gorgeous. Lovely shot. Nice and safe. We'll take it. Well played. Right, Fox is there for two net and on, and I'm here for one. Look where that's pitched as well. Wow. So look. Oh, wow. Oh, don't put your bag down here. People think this is green as well. Can you remember the last one? <laughs> yeah. This isn't the shot either, but I'm just really enjoying my wedges at the minute, so... that very quickly didn't it mm -hmm. right mate two putts and we're gonna have to take it to a playoff hole oh 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 do we have to <laughs> why do we go to the pub <laughs> no i don't actually scared yourself on that last one didn't you mm. that's disappointing oh it's not turned 
parameter, you've got two for it from there. Something deflected that in, did you see that? No. It d bloody did, I'm going to replay that on screen now. Something deflected that in, did you see that? No. It d bloody did, I'm going to replay that on screen now. Deflected. It defle watch. Well, when, you can, when you can read green. Greens. <laughs> you can pick it. it was this look. It was this thing here. I'm going to take that home, mate. Cheers, mate. We'll put you in India. Right. Playoff hole. Lovely, mate. Lovely. Hold that line. Oh, it's going too much, isn't it? Just cut a little too much. Right, two great tee shots there. This is a shortish hole because it's winter. It's playing about 260 odd. See mine just on the fringe there. And Fox is down yonder. But that's actually a very good drive for you, mate. It tried to draw back even. I, 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 I did try and put the drawer on. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, dear. Oh, he's nipped it as well. Oh, stop it. Great Good. shot. Yes. Certainly not the place you want it to be. Right, I reckon I need this to go in then. Sure, they're for two net one, aren't you? Mm hmm. Sit. Ooh. Yeah, pick it up, mate. That'll do you, I think, from a come from behind. That's a victory, or oh, will it? What's that? It's a par. Four net three? Yeah. I need this though, grab it out. Of course you can. <clears throat> but with my head, I already lost as well. <laughs> oh, so I'm not turned. I've lost. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that <laughs> video on when to buy new golf clubs and when not to buy new golf clubs. Well done. Thank you. Right, I'm going now. Bye. Bye, pal.